What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. This is video two of a two-part series on the double underpass. In video number one, we discuss battle number one, which is raising the opponent's legs up to your shoulders. In this video, we will discuss battles number two, controlling the opponent's legs while on your shoulders. Battle number three, working your way around the opponent's hips. And battle number four, clearing the opponent's legs off your head. I hope you enjoy this content, and as always, thank you for watching. So battle number one is to get the leg on the shoulder. But is it that hard of a battle to get that leg on the shoulder? Why not? I showed you the magic on how to do it. Because if, if I just said, go ahead and pick up the leg, you guys would have been trying to jack it up. You would have never got the leg up. But if you do it one at a time, not a problem. So battle one, poof, checked off. What's battle two? Getting around legs? Nope. Establishing control. Bringing his knees close. I don't want his legs hanging off of my shoulders because it makes it heavier for me to hold them. And then what we did earlier in the week was just drive the weight forward. And hold them in control. That's battle two. You gotta be able to hold the guy there. So I get to here, boom, and I get to here. Now he's gonna start to fight me. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Come on, come on, Nick. Stop. What happens? What do you feel? I'm not trying, am I trying to pass? No. Did you see how you almost let me pass? Because they overcommit so much to the defense that I, I, that's what I want to happen. I didn't pass right now just because I didn't, I, I didn't, I wanted to prove my point. But do you see how the guy on the bottom, if you try to pass, he doesn't react that way. If I try to pass, what's he gonna do? Stop the pass. Brace my hip, break the grip, whatever. So when I pop it up to the shoulder and lock my hands, it puts him at negative one. He's trying to get back to zero. What's it back to zero? Getting his legs free. So while he's trying to get his legs free, what am I doing? Not letting him get his legs free. That's battle two. Battle three, what is it? Legs are up. Battle three. Stop. Hold your legs up. Is to get around his hip bone. So my chest is on the back of his legs. My ribs, more or less, are over his eastern and western hemispheres. <laughs> okay. So if you notice the positioning when I lead, drive my leg forward, I'm here. My ribs are what's connected. So at this point, what I'm trying to do is as he starts to push my elbow, push an elbow, I, I lean to that side and I'm trying to get around his butt cheek. He might regain it. I am also using my elbows to swivel them. So when I'm here, I can use my elbows to swivel them. Now, what he's gonna wanna do is he's gonna wanna slowly push me back with his leg and then bring the butt back underneath me. You understand? So I know that. So I do this. He goes the other way, I can do this. He goes back the other way, I do this. Look, I'm getting deeper every single time. As I swivel his hip out of the way, I use my rib to just slightly turn, making a connection between my rib and his hip. Now, depending on how much weight I have forward and how strong he is, he might clear his hip and then regain the position. But I can always, this is not something that you're gonna do at one time and, and you're just gonna stop the guy forever. This is a battle where you're going to have to learn how to surf and understand and learn and know when you're going to lose the position because you're going to just shift him over to the other side. You can keep going side to side all you want. My weight is forward. He's carrying the weight and it's, it's draining the life out of him. I'm trying to get him tired. I'm trying to get him tired. I want him tired. And every time that I shift sides, 
I get deeper and deeper and deeper until it gets to a point where, right? So let's say I'm here and I start to go this way and the counters by going this way and, the, and this way. Now, I got to here and he starts to push me away and I'm actually able to hold the position. Now what I'm going to do is, is because my angle, I'm able to go deeper with my arm. Click. Now his hip is locked. Keep your, keep your leg ready. Okay. So now I just get deeper until I pass. So what I'm doing is I have no leverage here to push my arm down. But if I can get an angle, my arm goes deeper, you click the hip. I do it again. I go deeper, arm goes through, click the hip. So that right there, once I start to lean the weight, it puts a lot of weight on his leg. Now sometimes what you can do is while putting all your weight, leaning forward, putting all the weight on the hand, I can take the leg off the hand. Oop, drop the weight, pass the guard. All day long. Call this planting the seed. I plant the seed. So now he can't move his hip. I have weight forward, and because of the positioning, he can't move his hips in either direction. You'll feel the lock. Straighten your arm, keep your arm nice and strong to prevent him from coming back and forth. So the first thing, you pop it up to your shoulder, boom, you're gonna control and lean the weight, and slowly you're gonna use your elbows to kind of swivel yourself one way or the other. I go once, when he goes to counter it, I, go get, I use his own momentum against them, and that you're gonna have to learn on your own. I can't teach you that. Because when you feel it, you can't be too committed to keeping a particular position, except that you're losing it and shift while you're losing it. Don't start to lose it, get back to center, and then start to go the other way. No, use their momentum. I know the first time I shift Nick's hips, I'm not gonna get very deep, okay? So when I do this, boom, I might only get to here, he starts pushing my hip, push my, use your hand, yeah. Then we're here, and then it becomes about of him just clearing my ribs. See how my shoulders are slightly turned? So when he goes to clear the, 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 my rib right there and square up, go, whoop, now I'm deeper. If he tries to push me away and push and go again, go, 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 whoop, now I'm deep. You see how I'm getting deeper every single time? Because I'm using momentum. Make sense? Drive him, pop him up, drive and hold. Once you can hold, you have control, you feel like you have to, the whole time you're off your knees, you shift it. Now, are you gonna win it on the first shift? No, you're not. So be patient, shift and just wait. Don't even move. Shift and be like, let's see how long it's gonna take him. If he clears it, shift him the other way, shift him the other way, shift him the other way, shift him the other way. Back and forth and you're gonna get deeper and deeper. And eventually a lot of times they'll just take the leg off the head and let you pass because the pressure. The entire time my weight is forward, I'm off my knees. I'm surfing. Question. All right, let's make a circle. Let's get the business. Go. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.